The way that we really like to play is we believe in, in pressure hockey. We believe that uh, every time the other team has the puck that we want somebody in their face. We want to make the game very uncomfortable for the opponent. There's a, a saying that the more aggressive that you are, the more detailed that you have to be. And really that's where the video comes in. You know, we've got so many guys that are just so hungry and they, they want nothing more than to get better. Especially, you know, now once we're getting into the playoffs and the games are tighter, we want to do everything we can to keep pucks away from the net. Here we are on a, on a penalty kill face-off. We don't win, so now what we want to do is we want to try to get out and block the shot. Daryl is faced with uh, a decision right now. He can either find a way to block the shot or he can get out of the way. So Daryl comes down and ends up blocking the shot. Thank God it didn't hit him anywhere but the visor and he ends up being okay. We definitely don't want guys taking pucks off their heads, but uh, it just shows a lot of character you know, for Daryl and the kind of player that he is. Now Keith again looks up, looks to shoot, gets everybody thinking that he's going to shoot, and it opens up a seam. Now he, he finds Daryl, who's our unsung hero of the day. He got hit in the head, and then he hit the goalie in the head. And here it comes. Bang, hits the goalie in the head. And that creates the rebound. The spiele must have all this prepared. That means system, Torhüter, and, naturally, die individuelle Spieler, was die für Stärke bzw. Schwäche haben. Viele Mannschaften in dieser Liga, die spielen mit der ersten Gruppe, so wie ein Schirm. Ein Mann oben, zwei seitlich, ein vor dem Tor, direkt vor dem Tor, der sich bewegt, wenn die Scheibe tief geht. Und ein hier auf und ab oder teilweise hier. Wichtig ist bei Überzahl, dass die Scheibe zu Tor kommt. Man hat mehr Erfolg, wenn man sein eigenes System spielt. Uh, something significant in, in defensive zone coverage. They, they try to swarm a little. So as soon as the puck stops, we'll start to see three guys get in the corner. But they've got three guys, they're trying to outnumber us uh, down low. And so for us, Step one is, is try not to let the puck stop. If we're, if we're always moving, the puck's moving, okay, we're skating. Like if we're stopped, we're an easy target. But if the puck's moving, if we're moving, it makes it really hard to do this. And then, the, and then if we need to get out, take a look. But typically this strong side forward is trying to take away this pass as well. So we might be able to just go right up like they do here and then try to get some space from the swarm. Our coaching staff breaks down the video uh, into the elements of the game. Forecheck, breakout, special teams, face-offs, and then we'll, we'll make notes specifically for, for our players. Um, and really when we're watching the games, the biggest things we're looking for is, is things that we're doing really well, that we want to keep doing well, um, and then we're looking for things that we can do better. So when we're looking at our pre-scouts, the things we're looking at are the other team's breakout patterns, the way that they forecheck their special teams to who their top players are, if any moves that they like to do, uh, and then we're having a big focus on what our strategy will be. Here, I think they've done a great job. I mean, we, we, we go over a lot of video, we, we work on systems, uh, in between practices, before games, and uh, I think Derek and, and Matt uh, have, have done great uh, video presentations before most of our games and, and have us prepared for, for the games. Es geht manchmal schnell, so schnell, dass wir ein Video live Schnitt während des Spiels machen, damit wir Trainer in der Jiddle Pause das Spiel analysieren können, irgendwas so vom System was korrigieren oder vom Einzelfehler auch was korrigieren können. Für jede Minute ein Video, das wir präsentieren, this is mindestens ein bis zwei Stunden Arbeit für die Trainer. Im Endeffekt ist lohnt sich, so was zu machen. Right now we're playing against Nuremberg. This player is going to bring the puck, and he's going to start to start attacking our net. And so right here, as the Nuremberg player is becoming dangerous, we've got five players right around the house. There's a statistic that something like 93, 95% of all goals in hockey are scored in what we call the house. And when we're in danger, we want to make sure this area is covered first. It keeps us out of trouble. This is going to be one of our, our prettiest goals that we've scored all year. This is Toby Worley's goal. And we'll just take a look at, at how it happens. Zum, 
zum Tor allein gegangen und äh, konnte den Gott sei Dank verwerten und äh, das Gefühl war richtig gut. The way that it starts is the Krefeld players are, are carrying the puck up the ice. They're getting organized right now and this is what's called the drop breakup. So P Daniel Pieta is going to swing behind, they're going to drop the puck to him. And so the big, the big keys to this are right now that we're organized at the line. And so Daniel Pieta is looking up and he doesn't see a whole lot of places to go. And so now from here, we're able to get some pressure on the puck. These guys are able to, to step maybe in a coin and basically create a little wall. And so that forces Pieta to have to dump the puck. So he chips the puck. The puck now is moving. It's right around happy day heading towards uh, the Red Bull logo. And so now as the puck's getting down there, here comes Conrad Albitelzer. Okay, and, and so he's coming in to establish pressure right away. And so now Pieta has, is under pressure as he's getting that puck. So what that creates is a loose puck. So now all of a sudden, Conrad has the puck right in this area. We're able to make one small pass below the goal line. And now Toby's got all sorts of space to come in and skate. And so as offensive players, we always talk about skating into space and it's what a lot of good offensive players do naturally. And so now Toby's going to be coming right about here and he's getting pinched off. And so you can see there's a defenseman here and there's a forward here, but you'll take a look that there's a lane. That, that opens up. And so Toby um, does a great job recognizing where that lane is and he starts moving into space. And so now from here, <clears throat> he's, he's got some options. He can either put the puck in and, and we'll go get it, or he's, he's waiting to see what opens. And so one big key to this play, if you watch the Krefeld player's stick, it's gonna sweep over to the other side. And while that stick sweeps to the other side, that opens up the lane that Toby's able to make his little move and now he gets in and he's all alone. It's just one quick shot up and under the bar for one of the prettiest goals we had all year.